by the starry light of the Pleiades. I cast my will upon to thee. A lover soon shall come to me. As I will, so mote it be. With good to all and harm to none, as I will, shall it be done. Perhaps your fear in passing judgment on me is greater than mine in receiving it. Bruno, 1584. Giordano Bruno was a master, a mystic. In the 16th century, he was a great scientist, an astronomer. Medieval and forgotten, he wrote about the stars. They killed him for speaking the truth. Mama said, It's important to learn all these infinite things if one wants to master their destiny. My mama walked a dangerous and lonesome path into the light, into the heavens, into the stars. Should I walk down this path? I don't know. The stars lay a magical path for us, and they watch as we walk it, following their divine trail. My mother used to say that. Can you wander off? I wonder. See that guy.
you know, in library there's a book, uh, Harry Potter. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> okay. Um, how many times would you say you've had to fetch Harry Potter since you started working here? Probably more than anything else. I decided I'd better figure out what all the the hype <laughs> is really? around the book. <laughs> You've read it yourself. Uh, no, no, I haven't. Oh. Why? Why? You think it's stupid? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I haven't read it. Well. What do you read then if you're if you're so educated? Mm hmm see. That's what I thought. Hush me to my old soul. Don't you know I'm I came to look for a book. <laughs> um, do you know the author's name? No. The title, maybe? No, neither that. Uh, I was about to go to art store and it was closed, so I <laughs> decided to come here <laughs> instead. Oh, um, do you want an art book? Where from? I'm, I'm from the States. My, my family's here, though, so. Okay. I've also lived in too many places. Oh. Yeah, but um, I could, it could be fiction, something. Fiction, okay. I can just pick something for you if you want. Yeah, for sure. I can come and look up. Okay. So, follow me.
So, um, this is the English section here, fiction. Um, you know, probably Milan Kundera, everybody yeah. knows him. Yeah. Probably read uh, Unbearable Lightness of Being. Okay. Yep. I haven't read it. <laughs> no? But I know, though. That's great. Yeah. Um, well, this is a different, it's a book of his essays, and this one, Encounter, it's like about sort of like a symbol for suicide. Or something. Well, I don't, that's how. Kind of dark. Well, I hope you like it. Yeah. So, I will come back then with the full report after I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you. My name is Katja. Oh, Katja. Nina. Nina. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nina. <laughs> so when are you working? If I can come back. I'm like a fixture here. I'm oh. Always here. Okay. Oh. Cool. So you're like a Dimitrovic. Cool. So see you, I guess. Okay. Then enjoy. was what you would call a witch. For as long as I can remember, she never hid it from me. She said that I was one too. That blood connected us. She showed me that power or magic. How to move things without touching them. How to speak without parting my lips. How to make my dreams a reality. She believed we were blessed by the stars. Let me guess your diagnosis. Is it narcissistic? No? Histrionic? Paranoiac? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> That's really terrible if I come across like that. But what's under it? Are you having porn magazine <laughs> under it? Mm, no. <laughs> it's just hey, it's when just I'm fine. working, I have to look like I'm working. Yeah. You look really cute when you're blushing. I'm not blushing, but if that was meant to be a compliment, then... No, it's absolutely not a compliment. We don't give them in this country. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Are you busy? Well, I just have to finish the whole Harry Potter trilogy. No, I'm kidding. It's a joke. Oh, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> that was good joke. <laughs> um, can I borrow this pen? I draw your map. Um, this is where we are now, library. And then there is outdoors. And when you go out and yeah. to left, and then then you turn to right and go here. This is my apartment. So. I would like to see you there tonight. I don't know. Um, I would I'm really love to photograph you. What do you think about that? Uh, I mean, maybe I, I don't know. Well, don't reply. When are you going to be free from? work? I get off at 7 and, and so I just leave sometime after that. Maybe 7.30? Okay. Hey, great. See you there. Okay, 7.30. Bye.
you want me to take your stuff somewhere, to I can take your jacket and so if you. I'll show you. Yeah, <laughs> and this. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks. Thank you. Just go ahead and take whatever you want. I ate already myself, so. You did? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't have to eat now. No, for sure. You, yeah, I did it for you, so you should. <laughs> you have to. Okay. Mm. Yeah. You know, you look really beautiful. Did I tell you already? I would like to photograph you, if it's okay, if you don't mind. For my work. Yeah, okay. You're kind of ridiculous with the Pimeni. No, you shouldn't. You know, you shouldn't. Okay. You, you look absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god. Wow. And you can eat as well if you want. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's cute because you're kind of shy and. I'm brave at the same time, it's really pretty. Hey, uh, I want to show you. Come on, come on. In my living room, you can take Pelmenis and the vodka with you. Or I can take it for you. <coughs> Welcome to my studio. <laughs> Never seen a house that looks like this. <laughs> yeah, it's like a fairy tale. No, it's great. Have you seen yourself in pictures? This is amazing, you know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, do you smoke? Um, I have some Piotri with me. If, uh, yeah, but I mean like hash. Uh, mm, sure. So, here. I got some some offers to do some <coughs> like commercial. <coughs> it's okay. <coughs> You're not used to that. It's kind of strong. <laughs> yeah, it is. <coughs> <coughs> so did you ever read the book I gave you? <laughs> no. But you know, it's a few days you gave me that. I'm going to read it, but right now I have read something like 13 pages of it. Okay. I'm quite slow, okay. <laughs> Maybe you just didn't like it that much. No, I, I, I definitely will, I think. I mean, you are obviously a reader and a creative person. Yeah. You came in and even asked the recommendation of a stranger that never happens. I mean, I work in this library and it's like all that people check out is Harry Potter. Harry oh Potter is such a shit. So I really no. don't get it. Bougie, people really love this shit too. Not just kids, like adults really like it too. Like my, my co-worker at the library, so yeah. if you asked him, he would have said, uh, Harry Potter. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's all he's read. Yeah, exactly. You know? And you know, I've seen some like Italian, really like suit guys with the suits on and Harry Potter in their hands. And I'm like, how can you take them seriously after that? Yeah, you can't. But I know it's like, I don't know. It's just crazy. It's like, I think it's the only thing selling fiction nowadays. Yeah. And you know, boy, does it sell. Oh my god. It goes like far away from Bible. Even <laughs> Jesus couldn't like have that fucked up people around him so that he could compete with this shit. <laughs> that's true. That's that's exactly what it is. I mean imagine what kind of person you have to be to well to read it even, but I mean to write this yeah, stuff to come exactly. up with it. And there's Who like this? like a Lord of the Rings and all of it. It's yeah, like, that's the same <laughs> shit, really. It's piles and piles of this shit. So just shut up and sell the house and I'm gonna go sit down and write at my own <laughs> abusive mother's type yeah, writer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
Are you happy now? Yeah. <laughs> Would you change anything? No, not a thing. Nina, da wein. Спасибо. Но не могу. Буду поздно. Куда ты идешь? На работу. Как это ты на усити? Валентина. Красота требует жертв. Это возмутительно. So it was like my freshman year of high school in the States and it was like a setup, this party, basically. I don't know why they did it to me. They invited me to this party and the girl kicked me and I kicked her back. You know, I was terrified, but I just reached back and hit her like a punch, like a man, you know, really hard. And I was just like, shit, I have to get out of here. They'll kill me. I really felt like that. So I tried to like make my way out of the circle and this three girls, Jen, Marion and Andrea, they were standing there. They were like the biggest bitches in the school. They were so mean. They tried to stop and I was, really scared for my life. And I, uh, I managed to get around them. And when I was running home, I thought about these three girls, like, that I want revenge, I want revenge, I want revenge, you know? And, and then, but no, the reason I'm telling you is because I heard about it all afterwards, that Troika, my ex, I saw him and he told me what happened to all these people in this town, you know, because I left. And he was like, oh, did you hear about Jen? And I said no, and he said she was beheaded in a car accident. She was driving and hit a tree and just her head came off. And then Marion, she was like murdered. It was a murder-suicide from her boyfriend at the time. He shot her and himself. But when I got home, I looked up the third girl, Andrea, and I just put her in a search. The first thing that comes up is like obituaries and stuff. She was dead. She had an aneurysm at age 19. One by one, how each of them died this like gruesome, horrible death before they were 21. And those were the ones that I was thinking about that night. Like I wanted revenge for them. That's why I always ask you to have TV on because I need it on to quiet my thoughts in case they get too weird. But you know, I don't want to be rude, but for me, it sounds a bit like... This all sounds a bit like from that American high school movie. But it's not like that I wouldn't believe you. It's, it must be true, all, all you're telling me. Okay. Well, like three dead American bitches. <laughs> like, it's, there's nothing magical for me in that. It's just coincidence. At least you have, like, inside of it. What do you mean? You know, it's kind of like uh, you cannot separate the realistic happenings from the magical thinking part, you know? I don't think you're crazy. If you have inside of it, you, you know it sounds crazy, then you, you cannot be crazy. It's just weird. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. It tells you're not crazy. If you know it sounds crazy, okay? <sighs> well, I know it sounds crazy. Yeah. But there have been like good things too that I've manifested or that I've thought about and that have happened. What kind of? Mm, like 
for example, when I was playing music mm -hmm. and doing that, it was just like every little thing I wanted, it just happened, you know, if I really wanted it and thought about it. Yeah? Yeah. Like, just... <laughs> like, <laughs> actually, that's me on right now. What? Yeah, on the... The radio? Yeah. <laughs> Right now, you can turn it up if you want. Really? Yeah. You're singing? Yeah. Wow. Uh, so See, that's weird. what I mean, just like little stuff like that. Like, I'll be talking about something and then it will You're happen. You're serious? Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. It sounds good. It really does. No. Hey, why you didn't tell me about this? Wow. <laughs> It's really great. So you're a sorceress. Why wouldn't you manifest something useful instead of hesitating all the time? Take comfort, the time will come when all men see as I do. Bruno, 1582, Ars Memoriae. Nobody really likes us. Some are fascinated by how different we are, but most just see us as freaks. We are blessed and we are cursed to forever live under society's contemptuous eye no matter what century it is. How many years have come and gone? How many hundreds? Nothing changes. That's why it's better to hide the fact that you're different than find some way to blend in, some way to express yourself. Science, art, whatever it is because even the closest ones are not necessarily cut out to understand. My mother believed that. I don't understand. I'm, I'm never going back there. I'm not, I'm not staying at that house again. I'm not going back to that room again. I'm not looking at the fucking people again. I wish they would just, I just, I can't, I can't go back there. I can't go back and I, I don't want to just breathe a bit. Okay, just breathe a bit and I take you a glass of water, okay? Okay?
Was it your creepy uncle that came into your room or? Yeah. Okay. And then what happened? That's it. You said it. That's that's what happened. And it's not the first time. And I left. It sounds like they're fucked up. <laughs> but they are really fucked up. Why would you stay with them then? I mean, I came to stay with Vala because of my mom after she died. I just feel bad for her even though she hates me and she treats me like shit. Why she is treating you like shit? I think I remind her of my mom. Do you mind if I ask how your mom died? Suicide. Well, I found her body. She was institutionalized in like a Suma Seiji dome. Like, you know, like a crazy house. Ah, oh, so she was like a mental case. Well, okay. It was political. It's one of those things. You know, it happens all the time. Well, okay. Uh, I don't know what you think about this, but, um, if your situation is really bad, I want to say that, um, you know, I have space more than enough. And if you kind of feel like it, so you can stay with me for a while. No? Really? Yeah, for sure. I don't want you to go there if it's that bad, no, situation. Okay. Okay. Uh, I can feel your glass and I will take it for me too. Yeah. You're always secretly reading. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Secret <laughs> stuff. <laughs> it's not secret. It's just important. What? It's important? It's complicated to me. Why? What is it about? It's about this guy called. Giordano Bruno, have you heard of him? Nope. He was like a last person to be burnt at the stake for heresy. Whoa. In the medieval times. Yeah. He was a philosopher and a mathematician, and mostly a geographer, but he was burnt for his theories about magic. And you're a great big fan of <laughs> him. Yeah. Well, it's amazing. You know, I don't read those kind of things. He thought to apply the paradigms of geometry to language. He changed our whole system. I mean, he would have if they didn't, you know. And he created this device for becoming one with the stars. It's called Der Umbras. Theorem. Do you want to know how it worked? How? 
by magic, of course. No, if you can imagine, it was based on a central power station to the stars. Yeah. The astral plane, yeah. And if you remember the location of all the stars using mnemonic devices, then you become closer to the lunar forces. We can attune ourselves closer to the astral plane where things are perfect instead of the shadows intermediary between us. Yeah. And you're a straight girl too, right? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> okay. No, not really. I loved my mother, but maybe the stars are not always right. I do believe that we're not that different from the rest. It is possible to find someone who will understand us, the ones we can hold on to so we're not alone. It's not impossible to find, just a matter of searching. Happy right now. Extremely. And would you change anything? Okay, now ask me. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Are you happy? Yes, extremely. I mean, do you change anything? Not really, but uh, one thing. What? I would like to turn the TV off. Do you allow me to do that? <laughs> yeah. You don't need it anymore.
Your feet must hurt after all. That. Oh, you feel that a little more than that. I'm sorry. Oh, I know that like, it was heavy. Oh, oh my god, my <laughs> so fault. Oh, no, it's okay. It's really fine. You don't, you don't need to worry about it. <laughs> I've heard that. <clears throat> it gives you good luck. Don't run from who you are, Nina. This world is not ours. They trick, they fool, they lie.
I don't really get what the hell is he in this business even when if he wants to sell the same shit all over again. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. I'm an artist here, not him. Yeah, I heard it. Can you call him again? I, I see, I see, really, but it, it doesn't matter because I don't want to do the same shit all over again, you know. That, that's what I did uh, like two years. Okay, well, then I'm not gonna do that, really. I'm not gonna do that, really. Nina, you killed me. What? What did you say? Well, Nina, what did you say? Yeah, but you know, I'm, I, I don't have any time and I need to... What? Nina! Please, just... Nina, fuck you. Uh, you I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... I have to make a call, too. That's what I'm trying to yeah. tell you. And it's a business... Yeah, cut. I had to do it all. He should so have time for you. Call him back. I can't, because he's busy. It was really important. I could talk with him. 45 minutes. It doesn't matter anymore. I cannot call him back. He's busy. And did you know that big stars should have their own phones for their own business calls? Maybe you should have an agent. You're such a big star. Hello? <laughs> hey, um, it's Nina. Um, yep. <laughs> well, maybe you'll remember me now. <laughs> so what's, what's going on with this gig? It's happening, right? Oh yeah, I'm all prepared for it. And, um, yep. <laughs> no, 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 um, that's, no, 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 that's perfect. Yeah, um, no, I don't mind sharing. Mm-hmm. Oh, it will be good. Ciao. Just now. I was practicing. Practicing? Yeah, you know, for my gig I have next month. Next for month. your gig? Yeah. You Come. didn't tell me about that? I did tell you about it. When? I don't know, you must have not been listening. What? When I said it this morning. No, you didn't. Yeah. I would have remembered. You didn't tell me about that. You remember that moment in the morning when you grabbed the phone from my hand and just made a phone call and vanished immediately? I told you who I was calling. No, you yeah, didn't. I did. Yeah, I did. You absolutely yeah, I did. didn't I told tell you me I was that. My manager, and I told you that, and you screamed out, oh, you should get an agent if you're such a star, but you didn't remember that I said that in the first place. You, didn't you don't listen tell to me. Was, was he, he? Is he, he? Your manager? The guy? You're ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. I don't know what you're talking about. You just don't want to believe that maybe I have something actually going on for myself. Is it such a big secret you're carrying? You're meeting some guy, chatting with him? You're just making something out of nothing, Katya. I tell you everything and you tell me you nothing. You don't tell me anything. You don't tell I, me about every project. You I know do. You, you can't sell a painting right now, so it's my fault. What? Because, yeah. You don't respect my privacy, not my work. 
You think I respect me. everything about you. You're the artist in here, remember? And I'm just nothing. But and that's how it has to be. Nina, you know what? You're crazy. Really? You've gone totally crazy. I knew from, from the first time I saw you, I knew you were a bit crazy. Now I know you're totally fucking crazy. You're just like your mom. God, why are you being such a bitch? I am the bitch here. You are the bitch, Nina, and you're lying, little bitch. Don't come any closer. Get out of my apartment. Give me that. Give me that fucking bottle. Go away. Really, I don't want to see you anymore. Get away. Get out of my apartment, okay? Get out. Are you serious? I'm serious. Nina? I don't need you anymore. Hachia, wait! Get off me! No, really? I didn't do anything to you. You just... You don't believe me and you don't understand it and you don't... I don't really understand you. I really don't. How could you spend all this time with me and talk to me like a friend and everything and you really don't have any idea who I am? Yeah, but I you know that know I love you, you and I do. I... What? I do. I said I do. I love you. Get out. Get out of my apartment, please. I'm begging you. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. And take your fucking stupid coat and your I'm back. I'm serious about this. Come on, where am I gonna go? I just think you can come into my house and start to live my life. And then no. just like play with me all please, the time. I don't wanna take some stuff. Get it? Your fucking stuff. And get fucking out of here. Never wanna see you.
fortune deludes us, and that which we put carefully into her hands, she either breaks or lets it fall from her hands, or causes it to be removed by the violence of another, or suffocates and poisons, or taints with suspicion, fear, and jealousy to the great hurt and ruin of the possessor. Bruno, 1584. Stars don't lie. Their eyes are upon us, on our disbelief, on our foolishness. My mother believed that. Nikakda. Ty zagončíš tvoje obyčejně? Jaké je obyčejně? Neznám. Jak to, že ty budeš dělat? Doing other things. Pomůže někdy papa tebe? Конечно, тетя. Ты вообще ежу модель? Как и что? Как и что, что? He means dancing. No, I did it again. Of course, you're not. Right? Ну, конечно, нет. Таким образом, ты не моделирование. What can be more stupid than to be in pain about future things and absent ones which at present are not felt? Bruno, 1587. Maybe it's all for the best. The stars had decided from the start
Thank you so much for the concert. Uh, you came? Yes, of course I came. Otherwise, I would not say it was great. Ah, uh, so how are you? Good. How are you? I have been missing you so much. Really? I've been missing you too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so sorry for what happened to me. Mm. It's okay. I don't have to be sorry for anything. You know, I, I listened to what you said. Yeah. About, about manifesting something useful. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, I did. You know, everything's really coming together now. Yeah? Yeah. Remember that book about the art of memory? Yeah, Bruno. Yeah, Bruno, <laughs> exactly. Well, I, I learned how to do it now. Huh? Yeah, how to memorize the positions of the stars, like Giordano Bruno did. Like, see that one? I think of you for that one. Oh, wow, a romantic hat. <laughs> yeah, and I think of my mom for that one there. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And, uh, see, see, she was a sorceress too. She, she had these. <laughs> so now I know she's always with me, and it's starting to just. Make me see everything, feel everything, magic, 
music, and it's just, it's just so beautiful. The stars, it's just so beautiful. See? Thank you. 